guys, it's Epic Underworlds, and I have all of my Epic Wars TCG cards in these binders, so let's go over them right now. So I got these binders because I felt like it would be a better display of this game compared to the card sleeves that they were in. This game will eventually go back up on the Game Crafter once I just fine-tune it a little bit, but it'll mainly be for collectors because it's not like it has crazy art or anything. But the first page, we have the original Spike Serpent, which started it all. And uh, yeah, a lot of the cards have remakes, like Forest Spider. There will be some cool pages where there's like three remakes of one card, which is super cool. We got the original Unknown cards. I think there was more back here. Well, I guess we'll find it, but yeah, we have the Full Art Spike Serpent, Hocus Max. My favorite card in the game is Hocus Max number two, not not the original one. But we'll get to, yeah, here's the rest of the unknowns. Unknown Commander is pretty popular, that's him right there. But yeah, comment down your favorite cards, and uh, let me know what other videos you guys want to see, because I'd love to show you guys more. There's Chatter, my one of my second favorite characters. Because me and my friend used to like use them when we would play against each other. Super fun. Um, the set two had the kingdom archetype, so you'll, you'll see a lot of them scattered throughout this. Solo Bat, who's another iconic one. Um, God of the Force is pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of really yeah. So Super Smash had three different versions, so I, I lined them all up. There's the two original Droplet Scouts. We have the uh, full art in eu 1.0 so at least he did get a full art eventually the great flood which ended up making it in wrath of cores i don't even think he stole that idea i just think it's a really generic idea we got the original grunt i don't know where the other one is it should be in here somewhere thunder squid i gotta add him back just a lot of good cards in here this this card could summon a token and we had like a Torton totem war fortress so, if you guys want to make these binders too, I may or may not be getting it up on the Game Crafter in the future. Oh yeah, so here are the other grunts. I remade the original, dude. And uh, yeah, so that was binder number one. Alright, binder number one had sets one through three, but it didn't fit all of set three, so I had to get another one. And this is where we left off. Set three was a pretty good set. It had a lot of balancing cards, and it has my favorite card in the entirety of all my trading card games I've ever made. Hocus Max number two. I don't know what it is about that card. I just absolutely love it. Best. Favorite character of all time. Yeah, so this set introduced... This was the archetype set, which was set four. We had ninjas, totem dudes. Ooh, we have Combat Engineer. That's an OG. Cancel. Ginkus. Just a lot of really popular characters came from set four and five which now we're getting into set five. Gondo Mortar. We have Insta-Kill, Deadshot Dan. I think set five would be the most fun to collect, in my opinion. Pinchback. Okay, so now we're getting into set six. Death Summon was a really fun card to use. And then there's like, this is like kind of an archetype set, so we have a lot of rock theme cards. And yeah, that was, and that comes up to our recent card, Zongbat, which I finally added, which is a special collector's card. And as you can see, that says set seven. So I don't know, guys, set seven of Epic Wars TCG. What do you guys think? But that was this video. Please comment down below if you have any questions, concerns, or comments about Epic Wars TCG or anything related to TCGs. But that was this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.